Welcome back to the Road to the Kentucky Derby preview. The storyline of a female jockey against males has perhaps been overdone, but still no female jockey has ever won the Kentucky Derby or even come close. If it happens in the next year or two, though, it's a safe bet you'll find Rosie Napravnik in the winner's circle. She is the Danica Patrick of horse racing, except Rosie has already beaten the males more than 1,500 times, and she's just 25 years old. I decided from seven years old that I wanted to be a jockey, so that was what I pursued since then. Rosie's, she's loaded right now. I tried to get on a Todd Pletcher horse that was running at the fairgrounds. They said, if we can't get Rosie, we'll take you. I love horses. Something that I was exposed to since before I can remember. She's proved and she's gutsy. She doesn't care if she's on the inside or outside. She's smart. She puts her horse in a position where she's got a good shot to make a move and win. Being a, a female in the industry is very challenging at, at times, or mostly when you're starting out. I think it's worked to my advantage because it creates a little bit more uh, positive attention or positive reaction, a little more popularity. No woman has won the Derby, but Rosie became even more popular by making history the day before the Derby. They're off in the Kentucky Oaks. I think my favorite moment was when I won the Kentucky Oaks in 2012 on Believe You Can. The connections are great, Larry Jones and Burton Jones, and it was, it was a great day. It was a great, great moment winning that race. Come on, Rosie! Believe You Can, three lengths in front of Grace Hall. Come on, the first female rider to win the Kentucky Oaks. Everywhere we go, we, if we can get Rosie, we get Rosie. When I was growing up uh, in the horse showing circuit, I was having to ride against girls. I know girls can ride. And last fall, Rosie put an exclamation point on her sensational year aboard the favorite in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. And away uh, they go, they all came out well. Shanghai Bobby is one of my favorite horses to ride. He loves his job, he's very good at it, he just doesn't, may not realize how important it is yet. This year I happen to have an extremely great opportunity to hopefully get to the Kentucky Derby and ride in it. She's ridden the horse very, very well in every one of the starts and had a lot of success with him. I think she knows the horse very well. He has, you know, that fighter's mentality. You can see that, you know, when, when things get tough, he likes to dig down deep and he's got a a good blend of speed and stamina. So, I mean, to me, he's a consummate racehorse. I don't know if we've seen the best of Shanghai Bobby yet. That's the most exciting uh, part of him. Rosie is looking for her first Derby win, but Hall of Famer Gary Stevens already has three. Now, for the last seven Derbies, Gary has been seated not in a saddle, but in a chair as NBC analyst. Now, at age 50, he is two months into a successful comeback, and if he's offered the right horse, Gary Stevens could again be holding reins for this derby instead of a microphone. Storming home in the Arlington Million was actually the beginning of the end for me. It is storming home, Gary Stevens, and a storming home, but we took a bad step there. Oh, Gary Stevens, that storming home went down. I, I got busted up bad and had a collapse long. I was dying on the racetrack, and it's as close to death as I've ever come. I thought to myself, how many more times am I going to get lucky and have a fall like that and live through it? I don't need to have falls like that. I've done everything. You know, just go enjoy life. Gary Stevens retired in 2005, but never strayed far from the sport. He worked as a television analyst, and his reputation and outgoing personality earned him roles in Hollywood. But he continued to chase that most elusive feeling. I was really struggling when I retired. I wasn't being very kind to myself, mentally, emotionally, or physically. I wanted simplicity again. Riding racehorses is simple for me. I said, man, I need to go get fit again and see where this takes me. I busted my butt to get to where I'm at right now. I had to, had to lose a lot of weight. I didn't want to be 70 years old and say, man, what if? But well, I don't have to say what if. I'm doing it. There 
probably riding better right now than just before we retired. It's riding too good right now. <laughs> you know they're doing good when they're difficult to get, and, and Gary's, uh, he's been difficult to get now that he's been back. He seems to ride a perfect race every single time, which is uh, bad when I'm in there because I always run second or third. These kids, it, it's fun to see them come back in, in the jocks room, and they're like, dude, you, you can mix it up. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I did, man and I still do it. <laughs> and here's the first win back for Gary Stevens. He's done it all. He's won the Derby three times. Winning colors by a hand, and here's the winner. It's Thunder Gold. Velvet charm by a neck with Gary Stevens. It's not like he has to go out there and win another one, but he wants to just as bad as anyone, I can tell you that. There's people out there going to say I'm too old anyway to be doing what I'm doing, but I'm not going to ruin the legacy that people have created for me. What I'm enjoying the most of right now is just uh, being back on the racetrack and this peaceful feeling. Even when there's a crowd out there, it's, it's just me and the horse.